Happy New Year and welcome to our Friday Bulletin. This is the first bulletin of the year 2024. In our bulletin tonight, we focus on events conducted over the week and highlight on what to look forward to in the year 2024. In our bulletin, Cabinet Secretary Duale and the Chief of Defence Forces, General Ogola, visit Kenya Defence Forces troops in Somalia. Commander Kenya Army end of year tour to Nairobi region. Commander Kenya Air Force visits Mombasa Forward Operating Base. 23 Mechanized Infantry Battalion Colors return to unit after successful completion of state duties. And in sports, we look forward to the 2024 Kenya Defense Forces Athletics Championship. We begin our bulletin in Somalia, where the Cabinet Secretary for Defense, accompanied by the Chief of the Defense Forces, General Francis Ogola, visited Kenya Defense Forces troops serving under the African Union Transition Mission in Somalia. The visit was aimed at boosting morale of the troops and appreciating their noble efforts in contributing to peace, security and stability in the own of Africa. While relaying a message of goodwill from His Excellency Dr. William Ruto, the President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces, the CS noted that the Kenya Defense Forces troops are known for their professionalism, integrity and discipline, which has endeared them to numerous peace support operations in the region, the continent and beyond. Take a look. Honorable Duale and General Ogola appreciated the commendable work of the local security forces in the conduct of operations, training, and civil military activities that are geared towards achieving tranquility and stability of the country. You are here because of our national security interests and the history of how we came here in 2011, how we secured Kismayu. All this is because we want to secure the territorial integrity and the sovereignty of our nation. That is a constitutional uh, mandate at KDF. They assured the troops of their steadfast support for their mission success and encouraged them to continue serving with valor and dedication in collaboration with other troops contributing countries. Lieutenant General Peter Njiru, the Commander Kenya Army, toured formations and units based in Embakasi and Kahawa garrisons in Nairobi County. The visits are part of the Commander's routine visits aimed at affirming the troops' commitment to operational readiness as they execute the Kenya Army mandate and boosting their morale as they continue with their respective duties. Speaking during the visits, the Commander Kenya Army thanked and commended all formations and units for their continued dedication and exceptional performance in their respective peacetime deployment areas. He applauded the troops for the hard work and sacrifices they have shown throughout the year to ensure that the territorial integrity and sovereignty Kenya is protected. In the same breath, the Commander Kenya Air Force Major General John Omenda paid a visit to the Mombasa Forward Operating Base in a bid to engage with the service personnel, evaluate operational readiness and boost morale among the troops stationed in the coastal region. Major General Omenda underscored the Kenya Air Force commitment to maintaining a strong and vigilant stance in the face of evolving regional security challenges and acknowledged the dedication and sacrifices of the troops in ensuring that the nation's airspace is secure at all times. During the visit, the Commander Kenya Air Force conducted a comprehensive review of the base's operational readiness and inspected crucial infrastructure to ensure optimal functionality. In other news, after successful deployment on state duties, the 23 Mechanized Infantry Battalion Presidential and Regimental Colors have returned to the unit at the Laikipia Kenya Defense Forces Range in Nanyuki. Last year, the unit undertook various parades and guard of honor duties for visiting heads of state, among them King Charles III of the United Kingdom and the celebration of Independence Day for the Union of Comoros. 23 Mechanized Infantry Battalion was presented with both the Presidential and Regimental colors on the 12th of December 2022 by His Excellency Honorable Dr. William Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. The colors are the pride of a unit and bear the battle of honors and badges granted to the unit in commemoration of the gallant actions performed by the unit troops. 
This year, we look forward to realizing significant strides in restoring normalcy in the banditry-prone areas of the North Rift and combating the terror menace in Boni Enclave, following the deployment of the Kenya Defense Forces together with other security agencies in the areas under Operation Maliza Uhalifu and Operation Amani Boni, respectively. The troops will continue conducting dominating patrols in hotspot areas in order to deny bandits and terrorists freedom of movement and action. Additionally, they shall be engaged in humanitarian civil assistance activities, including provision of social amenities and survival needs to the vulnerable groups. Also, following the recent directive from the Ministry of Interior and National Administration, Operation Maliza Uhalifu, area of responsibility will henceforth be extended to parts of Meru, Isiolo and Marsabit counties to effectively degrade bandit networks. The gallant Kenya Defence Forces troops, despite their gradual withdrawal from the operation area, have continued to degrade the terrorist group Al-Shabaab and assisted in restoring peace and stability in Somalia under the umbrella of the African Union Transition Mission in Somalia, also known as ATMIS. However, in actualizing the Somalia Transition Plan, ATMIS troops, including those from the Kenya Defence Forces, are scheduled to hand over security responsibility to the Somali Security Forces in preparation for the intent exit by December 2024. For over a decade, ATMIS has been conducting both offensive and defensive operations aimed at degrading the Al-Shabaab militia and the capacity building of the Somalia security forces through training, mentorship and conduct of joint operations. We shift gears into education matters where Moi Forces Academy along with other Kenya Defence Forces schools are set to reopen their doors for the 2024 academic year on the 9th of January 2024. The schools will be admitting Form 1 students beginning the 15th of January. This comes after a rigorous selection process that will see the new students admitted. Kenya Defence Forces sponsored schools remain committed to shaping the future of generations through quality education that is anchored on discipline and character development. In sports, the 2024 edition of the Athletics Kenya Defence Forces Cross Country Championship is scheduled to run on the 19th of January 2024 at the Ulinzi Sports Complex Langata. The 10 km men and women races shall attract competitors from across the three services. Koplo Kibiwat Kandie of the Artillery Brigade, who is the defending champion of the 10 km men category, is expected to defend the title with stiff competition from senior private Vincent Mutai of Kahawa Garrison. In the women category, Warrant Officer Class 2 Helen Obiri of Laikipia Airbase shall defend her title amid this competition from her rival Koplo Irene Kamais of Engineers Brigade. Thank you for watching. We look forward to your feedback via our official social media handles and your viewership next Friday for the KDF Weekly Bulletin. I am Sergeant Doreen Kewubo. Goodbye.